Okay, so we are here. And this video will hopefully be able to do all of the inside front cover and the inside back cover. So it may be more than 20 or 30 minutes, um, but I think it'll be right close to that and we should be able to get both of them done. So <clears throat> our inside front cover is gonna be a moving waterfall. We are gonna first need our base page not our base page, but our decorative paper because, where did I put it? Here's our book. We have built all of our regular pages on the base pages that we've made. This one doesn't have a base page. It only has the inside of our cover. So this will end up going right here, but I have found that it is sometimes easier just to go ahead and build it on the page and then put the page on the book. So that's how we're gonna do it. <clears throat> so I went ahead and picked out some decorative paper that I wanted. And here are all of my pieces for the movable waterfall. Um, there is one difference in here. You can either make six cards that are going, going to go on the front of your waterfall, or you can use recipe cards. I already made one, and this is with recipe cards. I went ahead and put a plain on the front because I'm gonna put a cute uh, journaling card here. And I did the same thing on the back because you're not gonna be able to get to the other side. Most recipes will need two sides of the card. So when we do this, our recipes will open like this. So you will be able to write your recipe on the front and then continue writing your directions here. <coughs> If you don't want to do that, then on C, where it says make six, just make six. And then you just go to town. I'm going to do the recipe cards. So, since I am doing the recipe cards, and they these are right at six, and I made this to be six and a quarter, okay? B is six and a quarter by eleven. But since I don't want my cards, I just think it would look a little funny. See the difference? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and both of these cards, which are gonna be the flaps, down to six across. <clears throat> so I didn't wanna do that before, um, just in case you did decide to use recipe cards and you're like, wait a minute. My measurements are off. So that's at six. And then my two cards that'll go on the top and the bottom. There we go. So now everything should be the same width as the recipe cards I'm going to use. Yep. <clears throat> so we've got that little part figured out. Recipe cards, part C, part D, part B. This is the six, now six, or six and a quarter by 11. We are going to do six cards on here. So I had to do six half inch score lines. So this is a half inch, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. I just set it on my scoreboard and however many cards you're gonna use, that's how many score lines you wanna put on here. The difference being, cause I like to do odd numbers. So I really wanted to put seven on here. <clears throat> but once I add once you fold over, okay, so here's my piece, all my score lines. We're going to fold it over, and now this is the back side. When I add my bottom piece on here, I still need to have room to pull one down. If I had put another one on here, it would have been really close because this is going to be attached down, and it would have been hard to pull that down. So that's why I didn't do seven. 
All right, so there's my score lines. It was flat. Now I've turned it. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and fold all of these score lines. Whenever I do that, I like to line it up and make sure that I am still, still straight or else my waterfall will look slightly askew. But the further down you go, if you are crooked, the more crooked it becomes. Kind of like government. All right. So we're gonna score those, score them. We're gonna fold them, line them up, make sure we're straight. I am folding them all in the same direction. This is how we get our flip, 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 flip. Burnish my lines. And there they all are. Got glue all over me. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this last piece, which is going to be one of these plain ones, because this is the one that's going to be attached to our, our mechanism that keeps it still. So I don't, wow, that's really crooked. Huh. I don't want to use a recipe card there unless you just have a one page recipe. Since this book is probably not going to me, I'm not, I'll just put some cute paper there and We'll all go on about our day. So I'm going to put my glue on here. I'm not going up to that score line. Going right near it, but not up to it. Since this one is crooked, I'm going to put the crooked at the top. I'm going to line this point up with this point right below that score line. And just like when I made my pages... I'm gonna keep it even on the side. So yes, that makes it slightly crooked here, but when I cover it with paper, no one will know. The point is I am straight on the sides because I do not want it to go crooked on me when I'm pulling it. <clears throat> Let's see if that side's even straight. Yeah, ish. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now I'm going to attach my recipe cards. I'm going to do them the exact same way I did this one. So here is the, here's the flap we just glued on. And I'm going to put my glue between these score lines, not on the score lines. Same thing, do my point, line it up on the side. Perfect-ish, as perfect as it's gonna be. And we're gonna do that for the next three recipe cards. Remember, not on those score lines. We need those score lines so that this will flip, 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 flip. down. Clean up your glue if you need to. Do the next one. Line it up on your left side. down. Clean up your glue. Two more. Okay. 
point to point, not on my score line. Line it up on the left, press down. Boy, I screwed it up right there, didn't I? <laughs> All right, this is our last one. So if you were to open this, okay, here's where we are. Not on the top, near the top. Point to point, cross the top, line it against the side. So I forgot to trim this to be four instead of four and a quarter. So we can do that now. That way you'll see the from the kitchen all the way down. So I'm just gonna open this. Line the top up with the four. There we go. I need to do it on the bottom one too. Line it up on the four. There we go. <clears throat> it's going good, Papa. I'm still taping. <laughs> so here's my my piece is going to anchor it to the page. We're going to fold those down on the sides. So in our waterfall, our bottom piece, the back piece, we are going to attach it right to the front of D. We need to center it. And take it down. Oh, let it go. I'm going to do that all the way up. Gonna see this part. Oh, there we go. Smooth that down. There's one. So here's our back piece. Line that up in the middle. Align it along the bottom. And press down. So now we're ready to attach this to our page. So here's our whole waterfall. We're going to fold that part back behind, and it's going to go behind these little tabs. Okay. The only thing we're gluing to our paper is these two tabs. Okay. Let's 
see. We'll put it right about there. Fold under. There it goes. There is your movable waterfall. All right, there you go.